just a heads up to everybody. And Jared, I forgot to send you a link. I um I got recently an email from um a gentleman with the National Lawyers Guild. So I had given you this heads up that I just got this random contact. Um, and we've been kind of going back and forth. And the National Lawyers Guild is going to do a webinar on um, cop cities and how organizing should could work towards stopping cop cities. Um, they've asked me to present my information that I found on the different cities around the country with cop cities. And he found me on Saturdays. <laughs> like he watched the show. And that's what, that's what uh, that's what they, so we're doing it. Oh, that's I, dope. Yeah. And I suggested Daruba. I was like, can we invite Daruba? Can Daruba talk? So Daruba is going to speak. Um, Kamal is going to speak about what's happening in Atlanta. There's a group out of, um, Nashville, and I don't want, I think it's Molita is the, the acronym they're going to present. So it's going to be like a whole presentation on organizing nice communities to stop cop cities. And I'm very, very excited um, that it and you'll, got and you'll make sure we, we have all the details yes. as to links yes. and times and yep. Is it, yeah. uh, is it a stream thing or is it live so, yeah, only? They will, what is they, they will, stuff, yeah. they will, it's going to stream. It's actually a week from today in the evening. Um, it'll live stream through the National Lawyers Guild. Um, I'll share all this stuff after once it's available, but I'll share everything with you and everyone else Saturday morning. So if people can jump on and join. Um, but I'm just honestly like, you know, you do something, as I've told you and everybody, like this was not really part of the plan for life. And um, but the idea that people are actually paying attention and seeing the information and and saying, like, yo, let's let's do something. Let's work together so that all organizations who are working towards this effort can give each other information and we can share, you know, pathways and what different people are doing. Um, and that's that's literally like what I was hoping would happen. So <laughs> that is fantastic. Yeah. I'm very excited. Very, very good job. Excited. Good job. Well done. Uh, yeah, that's, that is, yeah, I, 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 I thanks Alex approve this message. <laughs> this is dope. That's dope. Yeah. I'm fired uh, up. Who knew, who knew, who knew my rabbit holes would, uh, you know, and I, I've dug back in so everyone can know the spreadsheet is indeed getting longer, which is a, it's a little scary. Um, so, I, I mean, <clears throat> it's it's my favorite example. I use it all the time. But 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 when when Robert and Mabel Williams told the story of how one of Ho Chi Minh's generals said that the, the inspiration for the Tet Offensive to get into urban guerrilla warfare, and which which some have argued was a tide turner in the Vietnam Vietnam War, was inspired by a little guerrilla broadcast from Radio Free Dixie, uh, and a and a and a and a little newsletter coming out of of the southern part of the United States and Cuba, and and. So you never know. And so know. you you just pop up, organize some research, boop, boop, boop. Who knew? And then I got a link to an article that was written, and I'll send you the link because um it's in, it's in my email somewhere. Someone wrote an article about how extensive these cop cities are getting, and they linked the show in the article. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> It is the best stuff, though. That is the best stuff. I mean, that was that was. I remember years ago when when Doctor CBS asked me if I wanted to be famous, and I and I said no. I would like to think that my work is seen as valuable among those in struggle. Right. That part. So it is nice. That little bit is nice. That people now building work, and you. Shout out to you. That is fantastic. So I, 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 I'm, it, it should feel good. And that's, that's what's up. And you put all the right people. The only flaw 
Uh oh. <laughs> the only flaw is what this might do to Kamal and his ego vis a vis the rest of us. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Just more Kamal time, more Malcolm X headshots, more, more chances for Brooklyn to Brooklyn. That's the only potential error. But other than that, but other than that. Yeah, man. No, nah, that's what's up. Congratulations. That that's, that's, sounds dope. I can't wait to see the whole, the whole joint. Yeah. So ne- next week we'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll pull up the new the new spreadsheet um, because I've Oof. been going in and looking up how much money. It's intimidating. Oh, how much money these folks are spending. Mm. Um, the size of the facility being built when you know when I can find it. There are a couple of cities where um, they stepped up and the t- the city was like, "Nope, we're not doing it. We're not. We're not." We're not going to agree to this. Oh, really? Um, yeah, yeah. So a couple of places where it was like looking for bonds, looking for approval, um, you know, it's gone away. But, you know, I, I, I'm going to leave it on because I don't know if you remember, but Hawaii was a state where, you know, the voters said no and somehow $50 million ended up in the budget for it anyway. So, <clears throat> you know, so I don't want to <laughs> want to get too ahead of myself by saying like stuff is not going to happen and it ends up happening. Um, <clears throat> there are a couple. Imagine of things- getting fifty mil when you lose. Right. Imagine that. Imagine that. Um, there's a couple of places where, in reading about one, I found out there was actually a second in the same state. That's been fun. Uh, <laughs> so. Um, you know, so it's 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 been you know it's been very very interesting to um to see how this is playing out across the country with with this real push to to build these massive expensive um, earth killing facilities to uh, supposedly train people to be better at a job that they're not actually doing so. You know, it's 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 amazing to me. Um, and I'd really like people to consider, like, you know, they put $150 million into tearing down 102 acres to build a 46,000 square foot facility. Like, what, what could that money have gone to instead that would have actually done something to improve the material conditions of the people within that community, right? Like, we can't... There's no you. No one's ever going to convince me that that money was best spent in that way. Like it's just not. It's not going to happen. I. Every city has something better you can do than to fake train people to you know continue to do something. That's not actually useful. <laughs> that results well, in more killings every year. That it, like I just. I mean, I admit I'm not up on the latest research, but it, from memory, which. It seems to me everything I've ever read on the on this on the on the subject says that what is defined as crime is associated with the material conditions and of of the community in question. And it, it I've I don't remember ever seeing something that said higher crime rates are the result of an inferior trained police force. I've heard arguments about an unmotivated police force, maybe even an underpopulated police force. I'm not saying I agree with those claims, but I've seen claims of that. But I'm not aware that they're saying that we have enough police, they have enough, uh, you know, uh, you know, equipment or whatever. The only thing they don't have is the facilities and the training that they need. And if they had that there would be less crime. Right. Uh, <laughs> right. And 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 funny enough, the majority, you know, have a column called excuse because I was looking to see like, is there gonna be any valid reason for something like this? And and almost all of them are, you know, our facility is so old and the city's outgrown and the town's outgrown, you know, the 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 facility that was previously used. Um Richmond, Kentucky was in the process of breaking ground and they're building a whole brand new facility. And then they 
spent like another, I don't, I don't even know how many millions of dollars on the other side of Kentucky because those armed agents of the state didn't want to travel to Richmond <laughs> to get trained, even though Richmond was just pay is paying to get a brand new facility built. So, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's really, you know, this is, this is, it's a hell of a rabbit hole, man. I, I had to close the computer last night. Cause I was like, I can't, I can't look at this anymore. Like, <laughs> I just can't. Yeah. It's it's a lot. It's a lot of it's a lot. It really is a lot. And somebody asked about Cleveland, Ohio. Um, I'm still on the ends on my list, but in Ohio, the one that I found is in Lake County, and that opened last year. So, just I I can't remember which. Somebody asked a question about Cleveland, and I just wanted to address that real quick. So, <clears throat> in, a, in yeah. another. And another question about Richmond too. Did you want to uh, give a quick recap for Embreeze? So what, Richmond, what not Richmond, Virginia. This is Richmond, mm -hmm. Kentucky. So I don't, mm -hmm. Embreeze, can you confirm if, just make sure that you're not asking about Virginia because it's it's Kentucky, not Virginia. Mm -hmm. um, but Richmond is in the process. They've already broken ground in Richmond. Um, they anticipate that it's going to be done in 2025. It is a $28 million project, and the facility uh, is approximately going to be 42,794 square feet. Right. 42,794. I mean, that's... That's massive, massive. But it's only that the Democrats have a messaging problem. <laughs> Keeping us from understanding how much good they're doing for us. Right, right, uh, right. It's, it's all in the I'm, messaging. Yeah, because I know you See, keep going down these rabbit holes. I want to keep you on point, Renee. <laughs> oh, man, let me tell you something. And and you know, people, people, I I love our audience, right? Because now I get all the time, like, can you look at this? Can you look at this? Can you look at this? Which is great because it gives me stuff to do. But um, in Nashville, they are they've got a real like fight coming, um, and I think they've already mm. broken ground on the facility in Nashville, if I remember correctly.